Of Lee and Ng Tzu Yao are uh, taking on Malaysia's Go Sun Huat and Shavon Jamie Lai. Looking at the uh, brackets at the moment, we've got some other uh, mixed action going on uh, next to us, but none of them, those players involved in this half of the draw, still plenty of spots open. The winner could play either Chen and Toh or Tabling and Peak. Now just uh, waiting to come on here. Our players. Malaysian support again, as you heard. They've been good today. Okay, now it tells I give you a rate and you break. That's once before, and go and lie. I have won that one. Thailand Open just last time. week is That's when they met. So, very, okay. very good gauge of where we could be today. Exact that meeting took place exactly six days ago. That one was one in three, just under an hour. 1921, 21 15, 21 15, the Malaysians won it. So let's start with Reginald Lee Chun Hei, who's 2,970 centimeters tall. Currently 24th, though he was higher at sixth in the world with Chao Hoi Wa. That was in uh, June of 2014, so nine years ago. Has had a World Championship bronze medal with uh, Chao in 2017. Ung Tzu Yao, 2,560 centimeters tall. Currently 24th, but playing at her. Uh, has had her highest ranking of 21st with uh, Reginald Lee, and that was in January of this year. She has had an Asia Mixed Team Championships bronze medal and a former Youth Olympic champion. So, the uh, other only results so far, there'll be Adam Hall and Julie McPherson in 43 minutes in three games. Gosun Huat is 32, he's from Malacca. 179 centimeters tall. His highest ranking with uh, Shimon Jamie Lai is sixth. That was in June of 2018. Has won Sudirman Cup uh, bronze recently. Thomas Cup medals as well, silver and uh, bronze. Shimon Jamie Lai is 169 centimeters tall from Selangor. She's won mixed doubles at least. Sea Games uh, silver in 2017, a Commonwealth silver and mixed team event and Asian championships this year. She won a bronze with uh, her partner. They beat Rehan Naufal Kusyanto and Lisa Ayu Kusmawati in three. They won in 47 minutes. Benjamin Kuo is the Chinese Taipei umpire. Shamim Hassan Saikat from Bangladesh is the service judge. They've won two titles together, the Malaysians, but it's been a long, long time. Much has been made of that. German Open and Singapore Open right here, defending champions there. Sorry, they were champions then. When they, uh, that was 2018, both those tournaments. This year, though, they were runners-up at the Swiss Open. And so you has four titles. And the World Tour, two in mixed doubles. Taipei Open last year with Reginald Lee Chun Hei and the China Masters that was with Tang Chun Man in 2019. As for okay. Reginald uh, Lee, he's won 
one title on the BW Hot Tour, as I said, the Taipei Open. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Rosen Holt and Lai Sherman Jamie. Indonesia, sorry, Malaysia. <laughs> And on my left, Li Chonghei, regional, and Wu Ji Yao, Hong Kong, China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, how to serve to Li Chonghei, regional. Level three. That's a lovely service, service return. One, look. Well, you'd expect the Malaysians to be the favorites. Favorites have more or less come through today. So it's over. Currently 16 One. places between them, the oh. rankings. They've won against them just six days ago. So a lot going for them. Sorry, eight days ago was when they last played. Or the Hell. only time that they played. One. These two, of course, famously also a couple announced their engagement at the start of the year. The Malaysians. Service over. Hill. Oh. The Malaysians have been to 69 second round matches Service and have won 45 and Turn. lost 24. Hill. against Hong Kongers in the second round of an event. They have actually surprisingly four. lost all four. And that was to the pair of Tung Chung Man and Seung Sweat, who at one point were world number four. Five, two. Uh, they were always fairly closely ranked to go and lie. Never beat them in uh, the second round. Most recently in the Thailand Open. This year. Six, two. Already a big lead from Gola, a decent lead, I should say. Not quite big yet. For Li and Ung, they've reached 14 round two uh, matches before. They've won nine and lost five. So it's over. And, uh, at this stage, before they've only met one other Malaysian pair, Chung Tang Jie and Valerie Swa Xiao, and they lost to that Singapore Open, in fact, last year. Well, that's snaffled very quickly by Ung. Four, three. to shift force and he was in a bit of an awkward position there you can see Lee Overall, Lee and Ung <coughs> as a pair of met Malaysians four, four times in their careers. One, two, and lost two. As for the Hong Kongers, oh, sorry, as for the Malaysians, they have at Hong Kong is 11 times, won five and lost six overall in their career. So I don't have a winning record against Hong Kong pairs. Ten, four. Ooh, 
tonight, but it's out. And it's a good, good start here for Go and Lie. A seven point lead in game one at the interval. Well, they want to just keep on with this pretty clinical performance so far, go and lie. An easy one to put away there for Ung. Six, it's two walls since the break, much 30. improved for now anyway. Oh. Well, the problem that so they've got over. is they just haven't been able to 14, put on a run of points yet. Snatching at that one, and that's frustrating for it. With that run earlier before the interval of seven points really did help set up go and lie here. And the Hong Kong is in some trouble already. That's a massive ten point lead that they're enjoying. Out. So it's over. Seven, sixteen. Well, this is the highest pay, uh, placed pair that Ung and Lee have ever faced. Remember, they lost them last week. So this is a. Uh, a really stiff test for them, and it's kind of showing at the moment. But uh, they're finding it tough. This was a challenge that did look to be out for all intents and purposes. Yeah, very clearly so. Correction. Out. Challenge uh, unsuccessful. Service over. 17. 7. Try. 
And now just one challenge left in this game. There is that little bit of drift going from uh, left to right. So anything that veers in that sort of direction may just get taken wide of the court. <laughs> they will take that 10-point lead restored. Well, they're pulling the points Sorry, here over. sporadically. They need a lot more than that. Lee in previous iterations here his best result in Singapore as a quarterfinals in 2013 and 2018 as so I mentioned before uh, the Malaysians they won this back in 2018 and last year there was talk about them Perhaps going all the way, they were eliminated in the semi-finals in the end. That's a bit better for the Hong Kongers since the interval. It's been seven all now between the pairs after the break. Oh, it's good. Lots of court to aim at for Lee. Hung Tzu Yao's best performance here. Quarter-final appearance in 2018. flourish this because they've now actually had the lead since the interval. 9-7 Lian Ung. <laughs> Flick serve. Attempt there. Just a little long. And we have got game point now 30. for Go and Lie. Game point, 30. Oh, just a bit of hesitation. So it's over. 14, 20. That's a delicate shot there put by Siobhan Jamie Lai to set up that first game win for the Malaysians. And they've been pretty much comfortable throughout, though some warning signs. And actually they were 10 all after the interval. So perhaps a little bit more to come from Lee and Ung. Took too long, perhaps, to get going in this one. And the uh, Malaysians take it 21-14 in 13 minutes.
一上来练，上去呢，还就是过。或许问他这球有没有来过来过来过来过来，就是要逼他上来做一把球。然后过一个是没看过，他给一拍半的时候，有些不能说，要讲一下力。发人们一听，我把镜头我等在。So it'll be interesting to see how Lee and Ung now sort of take that some of the momentum they had towards the end of that first game. Because, uh, as I said, it was 11-4 at the interval, and then it ended up 21-14. So the post-interval session was... 10 all. A vast improvement on where they were uh, prior to the interval for the Hong Kongers. So the power at the moment, the two power players, the two male players, which is quite often the case, Sarah, making it difficult for the female counterparts. It's a good start here from Lee and Ung. They do get their first point on the board. The Hong Kongers, so the uh, Malaysians. As I said, this year it's been tough for the Hong Kong pair overall. Over. Four, 14, two. sorry, six wins out of 15 matches. They've won less than half the matches they've played in. Overall, they've won 39 out of 58. That would be uh, a win rate of about 67%, which isn't bad. Actually, that's slightly better than uh, Go and Lies of 61, though they've been playing a lot longer. They've had a better 2023 as well. 14 out of 24 wins. Seven, it's over. Five, four. Hey. 
Yeah, just a little bit more steely determination Stay. from Lee and Ung in this one. Oh. To uh, keep their noses in front, keep the pressure on. Make it very tough for their opponents. Stark contrast at the moment to what we saw in the previous game. And the lead is now Seven, up to three. Four. Well, this is certainly the biggest lead that they've enjoyed Eight, in this match. Four. trying to talk their chances up last time of making the, the finals who were harking back to Nine. when they last won it here. This is kind of where we were, almost not too far away from where the Malaysians were. They're kind of facing getting a, a little taste of their own medicine right now. Yeah, good work there from Lai to finish it off. Try and narrow that gap before the uh, interval. She's, they're only three behind. is one of the oldest badminton tournaments in the world. Started in 1929 as a platform to choose national players. Opened to foreigners in 1957, and it entered the international circuit in 1990. So we go into the break here with Lee and Ung in front. It's a good turnaround, isn't it? And it does carry on the momentum that they were enjoying towards the end of the last game. But they are still trailing with Go and Lie taking that first game, 21-14. Nicely poised here in this match. Eleven, 
Ten. Eight. So this lead now has increased to six. Lee and Ung have really accelerated. And some trouble here for Go and Lie. And if they have to do this comeback, well, it has to be now, really, the Malaysians. They want to try and win this in two. These are valuable points. Ten, so there's very quick points 40. that they got off since the interval. Well, Malaysians have quickly made up that some of that. The lead is still four though for Lee and Ung. Oh, it's just in. They gambled on that one, didn't 40. they? Four three, the Malaysians lead since the interval, and he stopped that run of points there, Reginald Lee. Fifteen, eleven. result in men in mixed doubles I should just tell you on court one Christiansen and Boye have beaten Prof Ranako and Terra Tanachai it's an excellent result so if they want to do something here Got to make the move now, basically, the Malaysians. Ah! Couple of useful points again. The lead is only three. Good power from Reginald Lee. They don't want to let go of this. Four is the lead. And four is what they need here in game two to drag us to a third.
Is there still some fight in this one? Go and lie. Three away. 14, 17. Now, their best run of points has been three so far. They'd dearly love that if they can right now. Over the top. Clever shot there from Vlai. It's getting tense now, isn't it? It's been the closest between these pairs in this game for some time now. Just two points in it. wasn't the best of serves. And that just relieves the pressure. Service over. 18, 15. Left. Not ready. I think they just got away with that one there. Hong Kongers, that might have been short anyway. That's nicely done by Ung. 1915. Hey. And it's five game, point game points 15. for Lee and Ung. One saved by Lai there. The shot straight at Reginald Dunn. Reginald Lee. Service over. 16. 20. <laughs> that clips the net. Yeah. Lee and Ung have won the game. And we're going to go into... A fifth, a third, excuse me, with Lena taking that one 21 16. Really did capitalize on that momentum that they took towards the end of the first game. Led from the front, never looked back, had a bit of pressure towards the end of it. But go and lie, couldn't put a run of points together. Nothing more than three in that second game. So 21-16 it is in the second game. Leonung take it. In 19 minutes, we will have a third. So this third game here, now we saw the momentum, as we said, from the Hong Kongers. When they played just uh, eight days ago, for the One. very first time, these two pairs, Look. it also went to three, remember? In that one, Reginald Lee and Ung Tso 
won the first game. It was the Malaysians who won the next two. Kill. Kill. Reminder again that Look. there's uh, 16 places between them in the world rankings. Had uh, 138 matches against pairs ranked 1 to 30. This pair, of, this pair, of course, uh, from Hong Kong are ranked 24th. It's over. One. Was Lee and again with a very similar start to what they had in the previous game. Just at some of the results Sorry. that the uh, Malaysians oh. have had over the years and against uh, pairs that are lower ranked than them. Pressure, isn't it, when you're playing uh, a low ranked Four. opponent? That oh. They're playing opponents that are hi ranked higher than 20. They've certainly got a better record. 84 wins, 37 defeats against players ranked 20 and above. Five. So in the first Ten. game, it was Go and Lai oh. who raced to a decent lead. In the second game, it was Lee and Ung who did it. Here, it is pretty level. Ah. Disappointing defeat for Gosen Watt and Siobhan Jamie Lai was losing to Ravine Jordan and Monati Diva Octavianti a few weeks ago at the uh, Malaysia Masters. Oh. They were 40th in the world then. The Indonesians and the Malaysians lost in three. So this would be not quite as uh, extreme as that one. Good defending it for the Malaysians. <laughs> they ended up winning it. Well, they were under real, real pressure. And the Hong Kongers would have been favorites to win it somehow. 
somehow they just managed to stay alive in it. Just falling short for Go Sun Huat, who's decided he wants to he wants to uh, appeal that, challenge it, see whether they might be able to overturn it. So well out, isn't it? Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Seven. Oh. Try. Javon Lai just looks up to the skies there in frustration. And she couldn't make that shot count. Momentum. So it's over. Just Eight. the one point in front, Nine. Lee and Ung. Increase that to two. Nice to have that little lead before the interval. Ten, So Lee and Irv actually in a pretty nice position here now in game three. They lead by three. Could be putting some real pressure here on Go and Lai.
So now the Hong Kongers know they put themselves in a very, very good position here. And they see this through. This will be their biggest ever win in terms of beating a high ranked opponent as a pair. Seven points. The lead now. Looks like they're in serious trouble going light. Desperately needed that, didn't they? Good defending there from Ung. Service over. 16. Seven points now. What can go and lie do here? Excited, so he needs to just uh, check. Oh, how oh, hey. tight again. So some of these are absolutely amazingly tight, aren't they? Seventeen, nine, five. Well, this is petered out very, very quickly. Nine. Malaysians, they just haven't been able to get into this at all. In the blink of an eye, this is, this is going. Real trouble. Long rally, but it's emphatically put away by Lee. Twenty match points. No. A whopping eleven match points now for Lee and Ung. Tremendous for them. They can see this through now, which you'd think that they would have to. Well, that is one of their biggest ever wins. What a result. They've never beaten anyone 
this highly ranked. And that's why this is so important. Lost from to way, world number one, Tung Tsui, world number 14, two, Yuta Watanabe. 14, and the number five is Tom Jekyll and Delphine Del Rue. So this is their biggest ever scalp. Excellent work for Reginald Lee Chun Hei and Ung Tsui Yao of Hong Kong, China. They beat the seventh seeded Malaysians, Go Sun Huat and Siobhan Jamie Lai. 14 21, 21 16, 21 9. They've done it in just about 50 minutes. So this is how things have looked in the order of play at the HSBC BWF World Tour, the Singapore Badminton Open 2023. This is the first time it's a 750. It's moved from a 500. Some, some of the biggest names in badminton are right here. And for our eighth match today here in court two, we're looking at men's singles. It's an all Chinese affair.